What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. I was reading the Twid, and I stumbled upon this segment where Bungie announced that they were changing the power grind. And it seemed like in this segment, they were encouraging players to play multiple classes. I don't know how to feel about this because I thought Bungie was going in a different direction with all of the changes that they made to their game. I honestly thought that Bungie was eventually going to get rid of the class-based lockout system and activate an account-wide lockout system. It doesn't seem like they're going down that direction. <laughs> but it's so weird, man, because everything they have been doing the past year has been screaming, play one character, play one character. All you need is that one character, that one class you enjoy. That's all you need when you're playing Destiny 2. The changes that they made to the game is the reason why I started to play one character. For a very long time, I loved Warlocks. I stopped playing Warlocks because it was just efficient to play three characters. And even more fun, because back in the day, when we had Void Titan, they were the only ones able to make overshields. When we had Hunters, they were the only ones that could go invisible. Nowadays, on my Warlock, I can do just that. I can gain overshields, I can go invisible. So with this change to our kits, with fragments and aspects, and allowing us to access all the same fragments, it kind of just made me feel like, wait, I don't need to play Titan to experience Titan. The only thing different now are like the melees and the supers and our exotics. But now we're even getting an exotic class item that allows us to gain access to other classes exotics. So <laughs> why do I need to jump on a Titan even more during the final shape? When I can get Sith of Steps <laughs> on my class item, please, 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 just get rid of the weekly lockout. Just let us farm. <laughs> just let us farm every activity we want to do. No more weekly rotators, man. <laughs> just let us farm. <laughs> I just don't have time to jump on my Titan and my Hunter when I'm having a blast on my Warlock. I, I feel like I'm playing the game more and I'm enjoying my time more when I'm playing on my Warlock. I really thought we were going closer to this account-based weekly lockout when they began to introduce crafting, man, and red borders and raids, and you're only able to get one free red border at the end of the raid per account and then also in the seasonal activities you only give us one free red border a week we would then have to grind for the rest also just you increasing the frequency at which the red borders drop i no longer need to jump on my hunter or my titan to get red borders from this raid what i need to do is just be a little bit more patient Wait until the raid becomes a weekly rotator raid and farm the bejesus out of these checkpoints until I get all the red borders. I, I feel like playing multiple characters is for players that want everything now. If you don't want everything now, you can just chill and take your time. The reason why I wanted to make this video was because after watching a Paul Tassie video, he said you should make all three classes. I maintain that you are missing out on so much of what makes Destiny good if you have only been playing one class this entire time. I'm not blaming you for that because it's a lot of work to keep up with Destiny at baseline. So trying to grind out three characters to constantly be current with everything is exhausting. Um, but now that the grind to do that is not essentially there and you can just sort of switch at will, I very much think that you should do this. Um, just in terms of like, you know, having alternate builds, having alternate play styles, like some people have probably never experienced these other classes, or if they have, it hasn't necessarily been in, in end game content. If you're me, you know, you have all three classes. If you're like super, you know, one of the top 
percent of people who play this game the most you probably have all three but for so so many people that's just not true i was just like man no <laughs> play the game the way you want to play the only reason you should be playing multiple classes is if you enjoy the different play styles is if you are trying to discover your own play style but if you are a player and you don't like to punch don't play titan if you are a player and you don't like precision gameplay don't play hunter if you are a player and you only like to jump a certain way man just do what you want to do <laughs> do what you want to do and you shouldn't be punished for it man a company that preaches diversity and everybody's welcome everybody and their mama can play this game i just i don't i don't see it that way <laughs> i don't see it that way man if you want to give us freedom give us freedom and if you want us to play the game more then you need to come up with some creative ways to incentivize players to play more stop trying to take shortcuts man i feel like this is a shortcut to get players to play multiple characters and it is another band-aid because once players hit the power grind cap what's the point of playing multiple characters now because you you've literally like i explained before you've literally taken all of the incentive to play multiple characters out of the game and if you want to incentivize players to play multiple characters by increasing their efficiency in power grinding let that be but come on man give me three chances at the necrochasm on my warlock <laughs> i want it and i want it now i really did enjoy the twid my Kindle Orchid is coming out of the vault. I just wanted to focus in on that one point because it's really important to me, man. I remember when I announced that I was going to strictly play the Warlock and people looked at me funny, bro. I, I think people actually left, <laughs> like people actually unsubscribed <laughs> when I said I was going to play one character. One person I remember said that I am playing Destiny wrong if I'm not playing on multiple characters. And I was just like, what? <laughs> that just doesn't make sense to me. Especially since I've been playing for so long, man. I, I think I've accumulated like at least 3,000, 6,000 hours, man. Come on, bro. I, I should be able to have the privilege to play the way I want to play. <laughs> Like there has to be a time limit where you're just going to get the freedom to do whatever you want in Destiny without being charged. That's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. So without any further ado, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoyed the vibe, comment down below to join in on the discussion. I'll see you in the next one, baby. Peace and one love.